Okay guys, so we'll be looking at question 10 of 2017 November exam paper for grade 11. So 10.1, we're given a statement. So I'm just quick, quickly going to read through the statement before um, we start with the questions. So the statement reads as follows. The circuit below consists of a 6 ohms and 15 ohms resistor connected in parallel and an unknown resistor R in series. An ammeter, a high resistance voltmeter, a closed switch and battery are connected as shown. The resistance of the battery and wires can be ignored. So as you can see, we are given the diagram with almost all the information given in the statement. So I think as requested, we'll just quickly go through uh, the circuit, the diagram of the circuit, assuming that we're not given the statement. And just before we get started, you can see below the diagram we're given a statement and it reads as follows. The total power dissipated in the parallel part of the circuit is 50 watts. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got um, two types of connections. First thing first, you should know that we've got two types of connection. So the first type, let's say it's a series connection and the second type is parallel connection. So normally in most of the circuits, you'll be having a, an ammeter connected and a voltmeter connected. So what these two things do on a circuit, so the ammeter reads the current flowing through the circuit and the voltmeter measures the voltage. So in this case, this is a voltmeter measuring the voltage across this unknown resistance of the resistor. So you've got, remember this is one cell, one cell, one cell. The combination of all of this is a battery. So we've got a battery consisting of three cells. And if you can remember from the previous um, lessons, I've indicated that this long line represents the positive side of the cell. Then you've got a smaller line which represents the negative side of the cell. So that means you've got a cell positive, negative, it's a cell positive, negative. So you've got one, two, three cells. The whole of these forms um, a battery. So remember, let me just quickly check. Um, let me quickly check on the statement. If you can see, they say in the resistance of the battery and the wires can be ignored. So when you get to grade 12, that's when in most cases, you'll be given the internal resistance of the battery. So in this case, they're saying you can ignore um, the internal resistance of the battery. So, and again, you can also ignore the resistance as a result of the wires. So let's see, again, we've got a parallel connection of six ohms and 15 ohms resistors. So this, this connection of resistors is in parallel and you've got this resistor of unknown resistance, which is connected in series. Uh, let me see. I don't think there's anything that I've missed. Okay. So with regards to ignoring um, the resistance of these wires, remember guys, 
uh, these wires can result in heat so remember guys you can have heat through these uh, wires so in this case we are assuming that there is no resistance as a result of heat so it means um, there's no heat throughout this circuit so that's what it means by ignoring uh, the resistance of the wires so i think we are now ready to start tackling um the questions so just make sure that before you you start with a uh, question 10.1.1 you've already understood and went through this lesson if if there's something that i haven't explained in detail just make sure to comment on the comment section with a question then i'll address those questions by either responding to your question or um, making a special video just attending to questions and that will obviously depend on how many questions i receive on this lesson